What's happening guys? Aaron from PhoneDog.com here and it may not be taking home any trophies in the 4G department, the dual core processor department, or heck even in the camera department, but where it does take home two trophies, global connectivity and the fact that it's the first Windows Phone 7 device on Verizon. Here it is, the HTC Trophy, available now. Like that play on words, Trophy, HTC Trophy, get it, get it? You don't like it at all. HTC Trophy, available now at Verizon for $149.99. It's one of several devices that launched today. The Droid X2, the Xperia Play, the LG Revolution, and this. So quite a few phones to choose from today and just in general with their smartphone lineup. It's the first Windows Phone 7 device on the nation's largest wireless carrier. Specs wise, very similar to all the other Windows Phone 7 devices. One gigahertz Snapdragon processor, five megapixel camera with 720p HD video recording capabilities. Windows Phone 7, 3.8 inch display, and more. Is this a device to get? Should you go with the Revolution or something else that came out today? We're going to find that out, at least try to find that out in the unboxing. But before we do that, special thanks to our guys at Best Buy. They've hooked us up with a bunch of smartphones just like this that we're giving away to you in the One Paw Bandit game. So when you go into Best Buy Mobile to get this, you walk out working, they'll help you set up your email, your web, and more. Enough of that, let's get into the unboxing. HTC Trophy, is it worthy of a trophy? Play on words. Oh yeah, let's check it out in the unboxing. Windows Phone 7. Finally, on Verizon Wireless. Here it is, the HTC Trophy, and not only is it a Windows Phone 7 device, but it's a global-ready smartphone as well. And I think Verizon's really heard from those critics where they say, you know, you don't have any global-ready smartphones, or the ones that you do have aren't nearly as equipped as your non-global-ready smartphones. So, you know, why don't I just go to AT&T or T-Mobile or another GSM carrier? So I think they've uh, kind of heated the call for, uh, for more global-ready devices. So you've got this, you have the Incredible uh, 2, several other devices, the Droid 2, uh, and more that are you know, hot devices that are also global roaming capable. So HTC Trophy, you can see here, global ready in over 220 countries. And then package contains a smartphone, battery, of course, SIM card pre-installed, charger, micro USB cable, headset, and all your instruction manuals, and that good stuff. So specs-wise, very similar to all the other Windows Phone 7 devices on the market. You have one gigahertz Snapdragon processor, 3.8 inch WVGA display. So kind of think in terms of look and feel, think HTC Surround but without that uh, fold-out speaker. So you have surround sound, though, through SRS Wow HD. So you have the speakers on the back, and uh, needless to say, the sound is quite good. Micro SD, or micro USB charging port at the bottom, camera on the back, five megapixel camera with a flash. It's capable of shooting 720p HD video. You have a camera button over here. Your three capacitive buttons, back, home, and search at the bottom, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with your power button. So it's got this red, uh, Hue to it, true to Verizon's colors, and then in the box, and of course Wi-Fi connectivity. Now it has 16 gigabytes of onboard memory, so uh, something to keep in mind as well. It's not too bad. And it seems like HTC you've got these cornstarch bags that are eco-friendly, and they've gone back to this kind of blocky looking. If you remember the uh, the HTC adapter that came with the Evo, like that one much better. I mean, not that it really matters. It charges the phone the same, but gone back to this kind of blocky look as opposed to. And actually, the reason I take that back, I know why they did it. It's because it has the capability to insert a global adapter. So if, you know, if you're in the UK, you need a UK charger. All you have to do is get the adapter for it during the UK portion, pop it down, and you're good to go. So actually, that was pretty dumb. Pretty dumb thing I just said. I caught myself on video, but then I called myself dumb, which I guess sounds even dumber. Anyway, USB charging cable slash sync cable. And then you have your HTC earbuds, and these look like pretty run-of-the-mill earbuds, nothing special here, uh, but standard earbuds with HTC Innovation written on them, as you can see. So a decent pair, it's nice to get something in the box, but nothing that uh, is probably going to replace your quality high-end earbuds if you, you, know, you fly a lot or you travel. So, but still, hey, you know what, I'll take free stuff all day long in the box. So there's that, let's power this sucker on, take a look at it. Wait for it to load up. So there it is, HTC, and it's got a good look and feel to it. I like it. It's black. You know, it's got a nice um, professional look and feel. I like the way they've done the grill around the earpiece, the chrome around the screen looks nice. It's a very thin device. You know, you compare this to something like, let's say, the Droid X2. There's the size difference, and there's the uh, the difference in terms of look. So you can see a little bit bigger on the Droid X2. It's just a good looking device. It fits well in the hand. In terms of just overall feel in the hand, I would. Uh, rate this very highly. So here's what it looks like out of the box. You have nice to see Verizon Wireless up there. You have Slacker Radio, My Verizon Mobile, HTC Hub pre-installed, and then Xbox Live Games. Scroll down through here. Netflix pre-installed. Nice touch there. 
my Verizon Mobile, Slacker, and uh, Microsoft Office. So in terms of what comes pre-installed, you don't get a lot of bloatware on this with the exception of my Verizon Mobile, which is very useful, and Netflix and a couple of other goodies. But other than that, you know, very similar to all the other Windows Phone devices we've worked with, it has that red color scheme out of the box, which can be changed. But let's go into uh, conversations and just type a little bit. Ooh, who? No, that's not right. The quick. Mmm, no, 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 no. Quick. Brown Fox is awesome. Now let's go back and try and change that. Fox, there we go. Quick Brown Fox is awesome, and you saw how I highlighted the word brown. I can extend out and click on that, copy it, and then I can paste, paste again and keep pasting each time I slide my finger over that. So copy and paste, finally available on Windows Phone 7. We saw that actually back on the HTC Arrive on Sprint. That was the first device to get it out of the box. And now it's finally here on uh, some of the other devices that are coming out. So let's go into, um, I don't have any accounts set up on this device, but let's just go into the browser and take a look, Internet Explorer. And obviously, you know, it's not flash capable just yet. That's one thing Windows Phone 7 is lacking, but the browser performance, exceptionally fast. I mean, it's a trade-off, obviously, you don't get phonedog.com. It's a trade-off, obviously, you don't get the uh, flash advertisements or flash content if that's something you want, but the performance is just absolutely phenomenal. You can see, I mean, look how fast that loads in. Pinch to zoom in, pinch to zoom out, incredibly fast. With no lag, little to no lag, at least, whatsoever. See how quickly that's moving. And the page isn't even loaded yet, and you can see that it's moving mighty fast. So it's a good looking device and I like the fact that it has a camera shortcut button to boot. 1300 milliamp hour battery. I don't understand why they do this. There shouldn't be, it should be illegal, or not illegal, but it just should be highly discouraged to have a device launch on the market with anything less than a 1500 milliamp hour battery. That's just asking for pain and frustration and a lot of calls that are not taken as a result of your phone being dead. It's just very frustrating to have a battery that low when you know something like this is a power hungry device. I mean, it's a smartphone, it needs a bigger battery. So 1500 milliamp hour should be the norm, but unfortunately this only has a 1300 milliamp hour battery. So a lot of features, but otherwise, you know, it's kind of the trend with Windows phone devices. You know, once you get past the uh, little customizations that come from the carrier, like my Verizon mobile, the red color scheme out of the box, which really isn't Verizon, that's still Windows phone. They're all uh, about the same in terms of apps that they offer and more. So hardware, it's a nice look to it. It's nice to have the global capabilities and I, uh, I look forward to working with it in the next couple of days. Keep it locked on the site for more coverage of the HTC Trophy on PhoneDog.com. In the meantime, be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're giving away iPad 2, smartphones and more. So keep it locked on the site and on Facebook at facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Follow me on Twitter as well, PhoneDog underscore Aaron and on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog AB. Is the trophy the one? Let me know. Comments, tweets, Facebook, whatever. Let me know. Out of all the devices that came out today, Trophy, Xperia Play, Revolution, and Droid X2, which one is the one for you? Thanks for watching. Latest!